Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm diving deep into a topic that can revolutionize the way we communicate, collaborate and create. Yes, and it is the number one solution to reducing conflict and increasing creativity. And guess what? I just used it in this intro. If you did not see that happen, stick till the end with me of this video and you'll see how it can be used in all aspects of your life too. Now let's just get back to the beginning. Obviously, conflict resolution and creativity enhancement often seem like very two distinct and distant goals. But what if I told you there's a simple technique that can truly bridge that gap? Enters the yes and approach. Yes. Yes and. Did you know that the yes and approach has been used successfully in improvisational comedy for years? Let's take a look at how it would have worked out. So in improv, actors build scenes without a script, relying on spontaneity. The rule is simple. Always say yes and to your scene partner's offers. So this almost leads to a hilarious and creative scenarios that wouldn't have happened if we just kept saying no. Let's just do a role play, okay? Imagine two improv comedians. One says, I'm a penguin. The other says, no, you're not. And that being the end of the scene. But instead, they say, yes, and I'm a walrus. Let's go on an underwater adventure. By applying the yes and approach, Improv actors actually create an inclusive and collaborative environment where creativity truly flourishes. This approach is all about changing the way we respond to ideas and suggestions from others. So instead of instinctively saying no or shooting down ideas, we say yes and. This means accepting the idea and then adding to it. And this will reduce conflict in your life too. Let's actually put this into action in a real life outside of the comedic scenario. Imagine you're having a brainstorming session at work and your colleague suggests a new marketing strategy. Instead of saying, no, that won't work, you say, yes. And we can also incorporate social media to reach a broader audience. How did that sound? So by using yes and, you're not just showing that you're listening, but you're also suspending judgment. It's beautiful. This fosters a collaborative atmosphere. It encourages everyone to contribute and be more creative. You just have to let the judgment stay out of the door. Now let's talk about how this simple technique can reduce conflict. We often say no instinctively when faced with opposing ideas, and this can lead to heated arguments and disputes, especially in our personal relationships with a wife, with a husband, parents, or even kids. But when we adopt the yes and approach, we're acknowledging the value in someone's suggestion, even if we don't fully agree with it. This truly diffuses tension and makes people feel heard and respected. Now let's just take an example here. Consider a family trying to decide on a vacation destination. Instead of saying, no, I want to go to the beach. I don't want to go to the mountains. You could say, yes, and I'd love to go to the beach, but maybe we can also plan a day trip to the mountains to satisfy everyone's interests. This way, you're not closing out people and you'll physically see them close out if you say no. But the moment you say yes, they start to listen in as well. Now, no matter what the final decision would be, the other family members will now be more interested in the idea of going to the beach in this trip itself than they would have been had you said, no, we have to go to the beach or no, we should go to the beach. That happens because we close ourselves when we hear a no. This is just plain human behavior. But... By finding that one percent right in someone's suggestion, you're not only reducing conflict, but also showing that you care about their perspective. So there you have it. The number one solution to reducing conflict and increasing creativity, the yes and approach. And you have to use it too. 
whether in your workplace, your family, or even in the world of improv comedy. This technique can actually transform the way you interact with others, making room for harmony and innovation. So why not just give it a try and let me know in the comments of how the yes and approach has worked for you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is all for my video, but I will see you in my next video next week. Until then, you take care, love yourself and say yes.